now now that uh, I have been able to you know, get some sleep, we're gonna get back into the game programming patterns. And uh, we have to remember exactly where we were. So we were looking through the command pattern. So that's where we're in chapter two command. And uh, we were implementing uh, the handle class uh, to jump. So if we take a look, do we have input handle class here and we have the ability to bind a key code that that well essentially allows us to bind whatever whatever we feel like so if we come and look at the game here we have the ability to rebind jump let's say to whatever we want now nothing is working our players just sort of suspended there in midair and that is because uh key code space is not defined on line 21. So let's find that, that's on game line 21. Right, okay, so if key code is down, so this is where it's handling this space, but we really need to ask the uh, input handler, hey, uh, because if we take a look at our, our, like the playground where we figured this out, the way we want this to work here is in the loop, we're gonna ask the, uh, we're gonna get whatever command is being pressed and then execute it. So, yeah, I think that's all we need to do because the input uh, handler or the handle input, input handler is I think what I'm calling it in the actual game, is gonna be able to handle all this stuff for us. So we need to have a handle input function here. Right, and we actually were nice enough to ourselves to, to say like, hey, what key code is being pressed? Um, what command is associated with that key code? And then return command. So we have um, in bind key code, uh, we have this that then binds the key code Uh, this dot key binds, so jump, and then like 32, for example. You know, something that we can do for this is we could maybe instead of just getting a single command that's being returned here, we could return an array of the commands that are attempting to be pressed. That way we can press multiple commands at the same time. Now. Jump, of course, we only have one command, but I, I was almost thinking, what if we wanted to like move forward, move left, um, you know, fire a gun. We would potentially want to be able to jump and fire the gun at the same time. So if I had an array of the commands that we can press and the fact that in our input handler here, keybinds is basically the, the command we want along with the ASCII code, which has been set. So let's see, is and bind. So key code, are you binding key? What is, okay, so like to figure out what is rebinding. So what is rebinding for that command in this key code? Right, okay, so if it's null, that's what we're rebinding. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. What this means to me is that I can loop through this object, get all of the keys. So I'm gonna do for let, uh, so this is gonna be the key. So it's, it's kind of gonna be the, the command name in uh, this key binds. Uh, I'm gonna want a an array of commands. So that's just gonna be our empty array. Uh, I can const this because as an array, I'm just gonna make updates to it and that'll be fine. Um, let's see. 
So once I have this, then I want to get the current key code that we're checking, um, which I can do with this uh, key binds um, of command name. So what key code is being pressed? Uh, we, we kind of have that. So uh, const key code pressed equals this dot key binds of position command name. So extract that out of the object. All right, well, what command is associated with that key code? We've got that already, um, the command name. So we have that. Um, now return to command, that's actually gonna be down here. We're gonna return commands. Otherwise return null. So I'm thinking here we'll return, so I was thinking we return um, the array of commands and it's gonna be in just an empty array if it's not in there. Now, this doesn't really help him because we have to now find the command. So where do we actually put, so this is our commands equals commands. What does that look like for us? So when we call the input handler, what do we give it? Uh, okay, so when we call the input handler, we run the function generate commands. Uh, generate commands here uh, returns, so it's just an object that has jump in it. And this is really nice because the the key is jump and the value is a function. So this key is jump, so I already have this command name key, so I can grab that out of the commands. So I need to verify, once I have key code pressed, now it's time to say um, if is key down, is it is key down? Let's go to P5, that's print. Reference, and we want, I think it's events, key is pressed. It returns true if any key is pressed. That's not what we want. Um, key key pressed maybe. No, called once every time. Okay, so key code, key released, key key is down. Maybe maybe that. I want like a very specific, I want to check to see if a specific key is down. Okay, so if key is down and then the key code, there we go. So key is down, so key is down, and then the key code, which is key code pressed. So if this key is indeed pressed, Katali, hello, it's been forever since you've been on the stream. I'm I'm super happy you're uh, you're here. Um, let's see, key code key code is pressed. So if this is pressed, then we want to add the command to this array. Um, now of course we just want like a reference to that function, but that's super easy because that's just like functions are just references anyways. So I can do commands dot push and what we're going to push into this is going to be this dot commands of position and its command name so grab the command name out of the commands and that will give us whatever command we're pressing on 
Uh, yeah, it's been quite a long time. Your schedule has changed quite a bit since the lockdown. I, I can imagine. It's it's changed, I think, for all of us. Um, but you're you're in Spain, right? How how is how is everything going for you over over there? Uh, thank you, phone, for finally telling me that I'm starting to stream. Uh, let's see. So commands that push. So we're going to push down whatever command we're going in. So this is going to loop through all the potential commands that we could do. Check to see if any of them are being pressed. And then uh, add them into this array. We're going to then return this array. So in the game, we have this is key code down space jump and then have the player jump. Well, we don't need to do this anymore. Now what we need to do is just run the command uh, or we need to like uh, have the input handler uh, give us the commands. So we're gonna say const commands equals uh, and then I think it's just our input handler dot handle input. This returns an array. So it's any array because you know it, it can sort of see what, what it's coming back. Uh, and then we're going to loop through these commands and just execute them. So commands dot for each, uh, we're gonna get a specific command and we're gonna command dot execute. And we know that it has an execute on it because here in generate command, um, oh, knew what? It's uh, just run the command. That That's all it is. Just run this command. Where, here it is. So just, just run the command. And then that should allow us to jump now. So save. And let's see, well, no errors anymore, so that's a good sign. Uh, we're starting to get out of lockdown now. We've been able to go to sport, to do sports since Saturday and from Monday. Um, your birthday, oh, happy birthday, or belated birthday at least. Uh, you'll be able to meet people that you don't live with. Oh, that's, I mean, that's nice. Um, ho hopefully things don't like resurge and it comes back again. It's, it's still locked down over here. Some other cities have been sort of released. Did I? I closed the window, didn't I? Um, but we are slow. Like, I, I think things are set to like open back up slowly over time pretty soon. But it, I think it might be a few more weeks before before like here in Denver. Like we're still in lockdown for like 10 miles. Uh, from what I understand, and required face masks outside. Um, localhost colon, I think it was 3000. Yeah. Okay, so when I press space bar, that completely fails. Actor is undefined. So in game.js line 77. Oh, because I have actor.jump. Oh, because I need to pass in the player. Uh, right, okay, so when I tell it to jump, uh, we want the player to jump. Now, yeah, so like handle all the commands for the player. You're done. Oh, space to restart doesn't work anymore. Um, is that causing an error too? It is because key code space is not defined. So this is another command we need to add in. Uh, we can only hope for the best. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, the, the, the best thing is that we, we hopefully all just, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, we'll get through this together. Then we can go back outside and run around and, you know, not have to think about diseases taking us all out. 
Um, okay, so let me restart. At, at least let's check to see if, yeah, okay, so jump is working. Now, restarting the game doesn't work because that's another command. So we have to actually add this in. So we have jump and uh, restart game. Um, now I have this as like 32 as well. So that's also space. So if I just have that sitting here and then in rest, uh, we need a command now. So generate commands restart game has to be the exact same text here uh, and this is going to be a function it doesn't need to take anything in we don't really care about that uh, we just need to run is there like a reset game somewhere there's like initially well what happens here I don't have a function for it. So if game is running, then we have this else. Oh, okay, so we have this game over text. Press space to restart. If key code is down, keep code space, then all these things happen. So I can move all these. Into here and then delete them from here. So, are we gonna care about this state? So we're, we're asking the handle input to like tell us, okay, is any of these things happening? And you know what? Does it even matter? It does, because if we're pressing spacebar and it's like, oh yeah, you press space, so therefore restart game is a thing. We need, you know, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna need, well, first of all, I can, I can remove this from over here. I can now just have a single place for these commands to be handled and maybe just do this right at the beginning here and just say, okay, here we are. We're gonna get all the commands we need to handle and then run them. But we need to make sure that we're only getting the commands in this array that are that we care about. Um, since we might have like a reset, so if I, yeah, it's like resetting the game and jumping because both of those things are happening. At least it doesn't crash the game anymore. Which means that our handle input needs to be context sensitive. So I need to be able to tell it restart game should only be a command that happens. I mean, the other thing is I can just say, hey, what if I, what if I have re enter a return instead? Um, but I think this might actually be a perfect example of, hey, we should rebind Restart game too. Um, so uh, I want to rebind. Oh, we're going to rebind restart game, but until then, I kind of only want to get jump um, when it is like game play. So if I hand the state over. Um, the state that like it's allowed to be in. So instead of like just 32 here, if I have an object itself inside of these and I say, okay, jump is, uh, we can just go key code or maybe, yeah, let's do key code to make it simple. Uh, that's 32. We know that's gonna be space. Uh, and then we're also gonna have like context and the context is um, plain.
Now we might want to make like context just have like essentially tags almost. Hey, if any of these tags are true, we you know this we're allowed to press this this code. Now if I do the same thing, key code uh, 32 context is now not plain, but let's come over. We have game running, so let's just do that. Um, we're gonna say game running. Um, we we know that this needs to be true, so and we know you need to be false. Um, okay, so we have we have these here. When we rebind now, uh, so it's not just going to be as simple as key binds, rebinding key. Well, actually, okay, so it's rebinding key dot key code. Like that. Um, so that, that's still rebinding. Is rebinding um, that command and this dot key binds. Well, that's gonna get this entire object well, at least can't command is this. Uh, this key binds of command. Okay, so if that's null, oh, so we probably want this to be dot key code to be null. Return, return true, okay. What is rebinding? Um, let's see, okay, so that's if rebinding. What is rebinding? This is pretty much the same thing, except, so we still need to do dot key code. Return the, um, return the command. Otherwise, return null. Okay, key codes. So start rebinding. Yeah, key codes of the command dot key code and not do that, uh, set that to null. So that way we don't lose all that other context. And then in here, uh, let command name and this dot key binds, key code pressed equals this dot key binds um, dot command no name and dot key code. Then we're hoping that this is what's pressed down. I can actually just combine this into a single place here. And I don't think we make it that much harder to read. We don't need these comments anymore. Okay, so if this is key code is down, then we're gonna push into uh, this dot commands, um, the command name, I mean, it also almost feels like we could just put the function here too. Um, but okay, so this dot commands uh, dot, or this dot commands command name. Right, okay, because commands is just the list of the commands. We don't really care about anything else. And then return those commands. Okay. So now I hit space. It's still resetting. Did I not save? Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? We need to, we need to now actually use this state. So we have this game running. Um, so whenever we do jump or restart game, we need to check to see if the game is running. Uh, so what, what is a good way for us to do that? Cause if handle, probably in handle input here, so we'll just do game running. So game running. We need this to be passed in for us. Uh, we could set it as a, a default. Uh, would there be better to be true or false? Probably false so it doesn't work. Oh, also that's, that's hilarious. Space bound to object, object. 
Uh, we'll have to fix that too. So game running. So in here, if key is is this and uh, key is down. Actually, no, we don't need to check if key is down anymore. Uh, it is going to be 75 degrees today here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, otherwise, it would be like on fire if it was Celsius. I know not all of you are, you know, over here with the uh, Fahrenheit system. Um, with the, re you know, the rest of the world, essentially. Uh, okay, so we just need this dot key, uh, key binds. So this dot key binds of position command name. Um, and then it's going to be our game running. So here we go. Okay, this dot key binds gives us, let's full screen this. Uh, gives us this object. Then game running gives us this specific part of the object. And we need to take a look at, um, oh, uh, it's going to be, so it should be dot game running. Is equal to game running. Uh, let's see how that, oh, it didn't half factor it when I uh, hit return. It might be nicer to like put this into one line or like multiple lines down to like make it a little bit readable. Uh, I could probably also extract these out into their own little bits. That might be a little bit easier. So I can just say, okay, const, um, so this, we can make this like a Boolean. So should, uh, is, Pressing um, key equals, and we'll just move you up. So this becomes is pressing key. And then here we'll do const um, can command be run. Well, I guess like is game running. Um, maybe, maybe not like is game run. So can command be run, I guess. Can we run command? And that is this, this one right here. And so now we put, can we run commands? We could even potentially put these into different uh, functions. Uh, and then uh, we, we could just call them. Uh, okay, so commands a push, this is a commands, command name. Uh, so then that makes that a lot more readable. So now when we run handle input, we need to call, uh, pass it game running. So here in commands, handle input, hand it game running. So if I do that, Let's see, I have two of these browsers open. That's not necessary. All right, space restarts and now I can jump. Okay, so this is perfect. So uh, we now have the ability to essentially have this one command handler uh, and then two different states that the, that the commands run in, but we've divorced um, having to like, check individually in this if statement here. So now just no matter what, hey, what command should we be running? The complexity of figuring out that ha uh, happens in this handle input function. Now, we need to fix this uh, set, uh, space bound to problem here. So where is that? coming from space bound to, I think that's right here. So input handler dot key binds dot jump dot key code. So 
There you go. Space bound to 32. And uh, I now want, let's say, another rebind button. So in my index.html, let's have another button here. We'll just put it next to each other. So I'll just copy paste. So input handler start rebinding. Uh, instead of instead of jump, it's going to be restart game. Uh, and we'll just title this rebind uh, restart game. Oh, that'd be nice if I can like inject what that is in there, but I don't like, we're not making like truly proper HTML for this. Uh, on top of that, let's now set like another text entry here. So space rebound to in game. So we'll say restart game bound to. So this is restart game that key code uh, five right, but this needs to be like sixty down. So they're both that. If I let the game go over, I then restart the game. So let's go ahead and rebind restart game, and I'll make it return. Uh, that didn't work. Key is down is expecting one arguments, but received only zero. So that happened. Oh, and game.js rebind. Oh, so rebinding. Where is that console log happening? Is that in here? I don't see it off the top of my head. There it is. Okay, so keep pressed. If input handler is rebinding, console log rebinding, uh, and then input handler bind key code. So it might be nice to console.log what that key code is that we're pressing. And so maybe I can say binding to so I want to rebind that hit return okay so binding to 13 and so that's rebinding to key code so in here when we rebind It hits bind, pass it in the key code. It should get the rebinding key for what is rebinding. Now, the I guess the other question is, uh, is it rebinding like properly? So let's let's figure out if this is happening. So console.log um, rebinding key. I can come back into here. I don't need this console log anymore. Uh, so restart game, that is correct if we come into here. Restart game is, is the right one. The key code is the same spelling here. Okay, so that's perfect. So we've bound the key to 13 or whatever whatever we're expecting it to be. Then in handle input, we're going through all of the commands. We're getting the key code. So we know we know this works because we saw that work before. So what's the what is the problem here? So space works. I can restart the game with that. I rebind. I hit return. Now I hit return again. 
Uh, it says, Key is down, was expecting at least one argument, but received only zero. Okay, so that's in this handle input. Key is down. This dot key binds command name key code. So we're not, let's remove you. We're not getting what we think we're getting. So let's console log. Uh, we're gonna do command name and this dot key binds of command name just to sort of see what, and I guess we could do the full one too. So all, all three. All right, so if I full screen you, let's hit refresh. So this is happening all correctly, we're getting uh, jump and restart game are set to that. If I rebind, hit return, input handler is not defined. Okay, so now at this point in time, restart game key code is null. Game running is Oh no, okay, so restart game, key code is 13 now. Okay, that's what we want it to be. But if I hit return, which is key code 13 because we pressed it before, it's not restarting the game. Uh, I guess we do need to make sure, did I, did I name the commands and this exactly the same? So restart game there. A restart game here, so. What was that? My, my computer, oh, unresponsive strip. Yeah, go ahead and stop it. That was Firefox trying to save my computer. Uh, let's see, okay, so we have Restart game, which is this function which does all of these things. If I copy you, we come into here and paste you, it's exactly the same. So they are named the same thing. We know that like key code is set to be what we want it to be. So why, that did force a save? That's weird. I don't wanna do uh, a console log in every single one. That That's like too much and will crash my computer. Okay, so is the pressing key? So we figure out, are we pressing down key this key code? Hopefully this should be true. But I think what we're saying is this is a key binds sometimes is null. Oh, because sometimes we don't have a key code and I don't think, I think like passing it in as null is not, not a good idea. Uh, okay, so is pressing key Basically, we don't even want to run this if the key code is rebinding. I wonder if that would be a good idea to sort of like pause the game while the key code is rebinding. So what would that look like in the game? And we kind of only want this to be if the game is running now we have this else that's game over. We don't want that. So if game is running and uh, what is this? It's gonna be D 
the input handler dot is rebinding. I don't think I have that as a getter, right? Oh, I do. Is rebinding is a getter. So is rebinding. And then else if uh, this is going to be game running is equal to false. Now, if I do that, it should like pause the game and not be constantly checking handle input. Well, actually it will, because this is outside of that check. Uh, I kind of want to put this like inside of like, hmm, it's making this a little bit, uh, like trying to do this pattern is kind of making me want to do like a nested if loop, which sounds terrible. Uh, I don't like that at all, which makes me hope that there's another pattern that we can go to that will help with this mess. Uh, Zatos Grax, hello, good morning. Because I only want to do, well, I guess I could I could do this. Uh, if if um, input handler dot handle input. dot is rebinding equals false. So if we're not rebinding, then go ahead and run our commands. Otherwise, uh, just sort of move forward and do the thing. Now, if we're not running the commands, then right, we also don't want to run the game. Probably have a different state. Um, yeah, I don't have a, a help command for that, but I do have this. Uh, yeah, I do have project. Uh, that was save. Off by one error. So the entire game is not running now. Uh, and I'm guessing because we're not, does it think that we're rebinding right away? So none of this is running. Okay, so, and, oh, uh, is false. And, um, right. Here we go. So I hit restart game. It immediately pauses the game. I hit return. It. Oh, right. I forgot because it was still bound to this, uh, this button here. So now, oh, you're not working. Okay. Space doesn't work either. Oh, I wonder if it's like frozen still thinking that as rebinding. Uh, is there any errors? No errors. So I've, like my state management is a little bit screwy here, I think. So it successfully paused the game. Let's see if we can rehandle space because that worked before. So if I refresh, rebind jump, I'm gonna make it uh, Z. Okay, so that's not working either, but it. Okay. I have to keep on remembering, I have to press this down here, then I can press Z. Okay, so it's not working. Space to restart doesn't work either at this point, once it's in a game over state. So game over state, uh, is rebinding handle input. So if we're rebinding, is rebinding equals false. Wait, do I have rebinding like in here somewhere? No, because I just have that down here. Uh, key press. Every time the key is pressed, 
If we're rebinding, then go ahead and bind. You know, I, I kind of almost wonder, would it be better to have like some, to have like a state management, put that all into draw. But all right, so input handler, handle input, is rebinding equals false. Okay, so if we are not rebinding, then go ahead and get all the commands that we want to run and then run, run through those. If the game is running and we are not rebinding, then go ahead and run the game. Otherwise, if the game is not running, then uh, show the, the game over text. Now, when we press the button to, to restart, that should be up here. Uh, is rebinding rebinding is rebinding is is handled in this getter so if key command key binds dot command dot key code so if any of those are null return true otherwise return false So I think I think that should work, uh, but clearly something, so, like I've got some logic error here. So I hit that, come down here, go to like Z, that sets it to 90. But now when I hit Z, for which would be ASCII code 90, it's not causing the jump. So we know that you're set to 90 after I, I press, I rebind it. Then down here in game running, in commands, I guess we need to verify, is, is this actually ever happening again? Does it still work with space after rebinding? Oh, that's a really good uh, question, uh, the real polygon, is can I rebind it to itself? So can I, well, first of all, can I rebind that to you? No. Um, No, okay, so as soon as I rebind it, now it still has it like spaces bound to 32. And that's being displayed here in sort of like global no matter what. So jump key code, restart game key code. So we know that the key code is set properly. But what is not, you know, I wonder if these, um, these conditionals are wrong and it's basically just stopping me from actually playing the game. So if we are not rebinding, it is a getter. Uh, sorry, if you rebind from space to Z, do either C or space jump after that? No, it does not, unfortunately. So if I, oh, wait a second. This is interesting. Space doesn't work right now. Okay, so I've got, uh, I just none of the, the handle input. I think this is not running at all. If I do a console log in here, am I running whatever? Doesn't matter. Not running at all. Okay. So this is completely, uh, if, so if is rebinding is equal to false. So this happens whenever the key codes are null, but I'm really curious, what is this being set to right away? Let's set, what is it, a breakpoint? No, it's not breakpoint, it's um, debugger. Did 
don't need this location. We want, uh, what is it? Input handler, handle input is root binding. It's undefined. Can I watch that? Okay, so it's undefined. If I just play through here, it's still it's still undefined. So is there binding is not giving me the Oh, I think it's not handle input. What a Handle input is the function on it. It should just be input handler is rebinding. Because if I do this, remove you, hit return, that's set to false. So now, uh, let's actually remove this debugger statement. Okay, so, uh, jump works. Now I want to rebind jump to Z. Now I can jump with Z. Okay, great. I want to restart the game and set that to enter. And now I can restart the game with enter as soon as the game isn't a game over state. I can't do it early. Okay, so that was simply because I completely forgot, like, I don't know, I just sort of autopiloted in, oh, hey, I'm doing this down here. I need to like, um, I'm running wherever, wherever this, oh, up here. I'm running this input handler, handle input. Let me just go inside of there. That, that's a function. The getter is just directly off of the input handler object. So this isn't a working state at this point in time. We have the ability to um, rebind two different key commands. Uh, we display them up here so I can rebind jump. Also, this restarts the game. So if I start there, let's rebind jump. Um, now it's set to null right here, which is like causing a little bit of uh, problems when it's like spaces is bound to that. Um, but if I now hit, let's say jump, I want to be left control now. Now, left control is, is working for me. And of course, return is, is starting over again. And this persists across new games uh, because that's not part of like the reset script. If now, if I refresh the game, it's gonna be the old one. So that's, um, I think that's that's all we need to do as part of this first chapter of command. This is, I'm hoping a good sort of uh, showing what we can do with command. Uh, we can now add new commands. We can now rebind them uh, to different key codes and key combinations. We have a little bit of weirdness, but that's just because HTML is like capturing the input and I need to, if I did the buttons as part of p5.js, this would not be a problem whatsoever. Uh, and then what else is part of the book for this? I think that's pretty much it because it's just allowing us to uh, run any specific commands whenever something happens. And we don't have, as far as I can tell, any other places in the code where we're gonna to want to implement this command pattern. Now, is there any other place we want to refactor for this? Well, first of all, I'm going to push this code on up. Uh, so we uh, refactored to use input handler to allow rebinds. And I believe I have a um, a bang code, I think. Nope, uh, what, what was it? It's, 
Um, bang, oh, bang repo. That's what it was. I should probably add it as a bang code. Um, bang repo gives you the repo, gives a link to the repo where this is. Um, thank you, Dark Sky, for letting me know that I need sunscreen if I go outside today, which is probably unlikely because we're all forced to stay inside. So thanks, Dark Sky, for being mean. Um, let's see. In game, is there anything that we want to abstract out or like remove out of here? Uh, to, one thing I'm thinking about, like th this might be a different, th this is now a horrible mess. Uh, it's even slightly more of a mess than it was before. Uh, I'm hoping that future patterns help with this. These could all be like different functions maybe. And then we just call those. Initial, okay, so key pressed. Generate command. Okay, so we have, we have this generate commands function here that's generating our commands. I'm wondering if this would be better, probably not as a class because that would just be its own like an entire let's see uh, that would be a singleton then because we never need to call it more than once so maybe it could just be a function living in a file on its own and we can just call it once right at the beginning here when we initialize Our other choice is to have input handler just be aware of the commands itself. And we don't even need to, to like pass this in. Cause it seems a little bit weird for me that we are passing in the commands at this point, but we just don't need to, to care about it at all. So I wonder how it would feel if I remove this from here, remove you from here, go to input handler, say, you know, we don't need, we don't need the commands. Uh, instead this, if I just put this as part of our input handler and maybe we rename this to command handler. So here's our function. We're gonna say generate commands. Uh, it returns this method here. Okay, that's fine. Then we can just say this command equals this dot generate commands. Like that. So no other differences there. Always keep responsibilities in mind. That's also true. Do we want the input handler to be like to actually generate the commands as well? I mean, probably not. We don't. Yeah, no, I, I see this. This is violation of the S in solid because the it's not, there's no longer a single responsibility. It's no longer a single source of potential changes. We could have one sort of one source of change of like, hey, I need to like update how we're handling the uh, the the commands. But the other one's like, now I want you to like add a new command, which should input handler should be able to handle all that without. Well, no, that's not true because these are defaults. Um, that, that sort of, this this maybe is what feels weird to me. Generally you have something like separate command handler that would be triggered by your input handler. Oh, a command handler that would be triggered by my input handler. So I could have a command handler class that would generate the commands. And then I could basically say, okay, then I could generate the key binds dynamically whenever uh, by passing in like it may be an instance of the command handler. Uh, 
I could I could see that. I wonder if that's like a different pattern than a command. And then we're eventually going to get into that. I haven't like fully read through the book, so I don't know all the commands we're going to go through. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this back. Leave you as that. Let's go back to game, put you back like that. And I think the idea is that we're going to look for it. So maybe in README. So features to add in. Maybe uh, patterns to look out for. Or maybe this is going to be like refactorings. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, so have uh, commands be its own class. Uh, so like create a command handler, essentially. And essentially command handler, uh, there'll be some kind of interaction between command handler and input handler. So uh, you're saying that command handler will be triggered by input handler. That is triggered by input handler. And I'll give credit to the real. Oh, uh, I said, I, I misread your name. The real Pygon. Pygon. And we are now, uh, what is our latest thing that we're going to be doing? So we're done with command. So what is next? No worries happens all the time. Well, I hope that uh, next time I'll get it right. So the next one's going to be the flyweight pattern. So I'm going to copy you. Flyweight pattern, which is going to be essentially chapter, what is it? Chapter four? Well, we'll, we'll figure that out. Save you. Let's go ahead and update it where we are at. And push you up. All right, I think I think that means that um, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the command pattern for this. Now, of course, that you know that doesn't mean the code isn't a good place yet. There's still a lot of horrendous things that we're doing. Like for example, we're not using a command handler class. Um, and I'm not sure if necessarily that's the command pattern for that, which is why I'm not uh, adding this in here. But I'm adding in a note for us to take take a look out, keep an eye out for it uh, for when we can uh, refactor it. Also, those if statements for uh, the state management into like when to render and when not to render, I'm hoping there's going to be a pattern for that as well. Um, in, in other complete news, I, uh, the, the new computer is, should be arriving on Thursday. Uh, it is... I mean, it's going to be a desktop, so I'm going to hopefully be able to handle a way lot more type of streams, specifically Rust streams again. So my plan is to go back through, re, uh, implement our um, our running game, infinite running game in Rust, uh, probably with GGEZ, and then uh, implement the command pattern in it. And so that's going to be an interesting sort of experience to see, okay, well, how does that work? How does the command pattern work in Rust? And then it'll be able to do go back and forth. Okay, let's learn a new pattern. Let's implement it here in JavaScript and then in, in Rust. 